There are a couple of glitches with the reclassify tool, so let's walk through that together. I use the spatial analyst version. I'm going to input the flow accumulation raster. It defaults to the value field for rasters. That's exactly right. We can simplify this quickly by using the classify tool, but notice that the classes for manual interval is grayed out. I can't understand that. It must just be a glitch, so I just change it to anything else and then put my number of classes in. And then when I go and change this, um, it defaults to manual. But uh, this is where I want to put in my break value. I'll just put it in at 500. Always leave the max value alone. And then because we want the low values to basically go away, we're going to change that to no data. And then this number really can be anything you want, but I leave it clean as a 1 because I can always use it as a multiplier if I want to without changing the values of whatever I'm multiplying it against. So that's just sort of a habit. And then like I said, remember that um, you're limited by 13 characters, no spaces, and I like to um, do the same thing with my naming conventions. So I'm going to call it the root of my DEM, but then call it something like that for a reclass. I could call it you know, the stream network or, you know, some kind of abbreviation like that. And that's it. Of course, when it's done running, you're going to evaluate your results and make sure that they um, are what you would expect.